Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Um, going to get into both featherweight fights today. Lopez, uh, Luis Alberto Lopez destroys Mike Conlon. And, and a shocker to me, um, Lee Wood beats uh, Mauricio Laura. Sorry, my brain is fried. Marisa Lord in, in a fairly one-sided fight. Um, I, I had it close going to nine. I said, okay. I had it like within two or three points. I had it still within, you know, mathematically possible on the cards. Um, and when I said, okay, like either way, it, 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 if it's wider on the cards, that, then um, Laura's got to go full steam ahead. And if it's, it's close on the cards, Laura's got to go full steam ahead because what he's doing right now isn't working. Although I, I thought he won some rounds. I thought he won the first. I thought he won the third. I thought he won the sixth. And there may have been one other one in there. There was somewhere else in there. There was one, one, three, six. I can pull up my card. Um, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, uh, eight to ten minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, Please also subscribe to Other Town Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. So please uh, pay attention to that and subscribe to that channel as well. All right, let's get into today's show. All right, we're going to start with uh, Lopez um, and Conlon because that fight went on first in, in, in Northern Ireland. And I, I was pretty confident that Lopez was going to destroy Conlon, and, and that's exactly what happened. You know, um, you know, I, I didn't really see a path to victory for Conlon. Conlon's not a master boxer. He's not hyper-athletic. He doesn't have a punch. I really didn't see how he was going to keep Lopez off of him. You know, Lopez might be the most underrated fighter in the world right now. He really might could be. Like, he really might could be. The, the combination punching, it's so unorthodox and it's so powerful. He's so strong. And he just puts punches behind him, right? Like, he puts punches together. He puts two and three punches together. And they're just down your throat. And you really can't avoid them. And they come at you at bizarre angles. And he's not fundamentally perfect. He's not fundamentally sound. He's sloppy. And he can be hit. But how do you counteract what he does? It is so difficult to counteract what he does. You know, I, I'm looking at the makeup of 126. And I don't think anyone can beat him. Um, I don't think Ramirez is busy enough to win. To Urbiski is, is is busy enough. Um, he destroys Wood. Um, you know he's already beat Warrington. Um, you know, the, the guy I I would I would hedge my money on would be Brandon Figueroa, right? But still, even a fight like that because Brandon Figueroa could just outwork him, right? Which is a hard thing to do. But Brandon Figueroa could throw a thousand punches. Um, and that would be an amazing fight. If I could make one fight right now in, 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 in that division, it would be uh, that fight right there. That is an amazing fight for the sport of boxing, if, if that could happen. I, I don't know who I'd pick in that fight, but that is that is some fight right there. Lopez has to be shooting up your charts. I mean, you look at Lopez's resume, it's really, really impressive. Um, you go over just a... Uh, I'm losing my brain here. You go over uh, Luis Alberto Lopez's his resume. So he's got Conlon, Warrington. Uh, then he's got Isaac Lowe, undefeated fighter. Gabe Flores, undefeated fighter. Eddie Benson's one loss. Christian ba Baez, undefeated fighter. And then he lost to Ruben Villa. That was back in 2019. And he beat Ray Jimenez, who was a talented prospect with one loss at that time. I mean, you go through his resume. It's really good, man. It's really Really good. That Ray Jimenez fight was on Roy Jones Jr. card. Uh, it was on um, UFC Fight Pass. It was a really good performance. Um, and uh, it really put him on the map. After that, he got the fight with Ruben Villa. Um, and, and, and he lost that fight. Uh, but he came back. I said he got you know, he got the win over Christian Baez. That was in 2019. He fought one, two, three, four, five times. He had five times in, in 2019. Um 
Then he came back in 2024 just once. Um, and that was in, in the bubble. He beat Andy Vences. Um, you know, then he had the win in 2021 over Gabe Flores, which really took him to that next level. Uh, that set up the Isaac Lowe fight, which, I mean, he destroyed Isaac Lowe, um, body shots, um, and that set up where, where we are now. And it, that set up the Warrington fight and then the Conlon fight. And, you know, it, I was at that fight when he beat Ray Jimenez, which put him on the map back in 2019. He was supposed to lose that fight, you know, um, he was supposed to lose that fight, simple and plain, simple and plain. He was supposed to lose that fight. And uh, it was my son's third birthday, or my son was on a leap day, so it was the day before my son's third birthday. I, I remember that fight. If you would have told me at that time um, that he was going to be the uh, you know a, a, cha- a world champion and he was going to – you know him, that was supposed to be Jimenez, right? And he was supposed to just be a tough Mexican – that Jimenez, who's not a big puncher, was supposed to survive and endure and figure out and get to the next level. Uh, and that really changed the, the tra- trajectory for both fighters. Um, if you would have said to them that Lopez is going to be arguably the best featherweight in the world and, and, and uh, you know, have, have successfully defended his belt, I, I would have thought that was crazy. I really would have thought that was crazy. Uh, yeah, looking at the division, I- I'd like to see him fight Rubisi Ramirez, but the Brandon Figueroa fight, which wouldn't happen, w- would be just about as good as it gets. Another fight, I- I'm down for it. How about Nick Ball? <laughs> We're going to do a show later on on, on the two ball boys, uh, two two balls that won today. Both of them look super good. Um, all right, let's get into that. Now, the other fight, Lee Wood. Boy, I, I got to tell you, Mauricio Laura, um, that was. I don't know, perhaps the worst performance I'd ever seen. Seriously. Um, I, I mean, look, Lee Wood is, is Lee Wood. He, he he is what he is. He was getting outboxed by Conlon, had to come back and rally in the 12th round. He was getting outboxed by Kanzu, had to come back and rally in the last round, right? Um, he lost to Jazza Dickens, and he's lost to Maurice Zalora. He's not good. He's not, I mean, he's not, he doesn't suck. He's not trash, but he's not a top notch fighter. And, and Mauricio Laura, uh, where he just like he, I, I tweeted out that this reminds me of the game plan Josh Cloudy had against Manny Pacquiao. Don't throw any punches. What was that? It's, kudos to Lee Wood. He did what he needed to do against the guy, but he was going backwards at points. He really wasn't throwing. He needs to work off that jab, work off that jab, get inside, and just start firing off shots. Just start firing off shots. Seriously, just just start firing, firing, firing. What he did today was like a- absolutely abysmal. That was that was not a good performance. That that was awful. Like, I didn't understand what the game plan was. You gotta you gotta step on the gas and just go all out. You can beat Lee Wood, but you gotta put constant pressure on him. Lee Wood's not a great athlete, right? Like he's not a master boxer. Why can't you get on the inside? Just put punches behind you, just and just come forward. And and if he doesn't want to go backwards, perfect. But I, I got to tell you, Mauricio Laura, I'm a fan. I, I, I've been a big advocate of yours and a big supporter of yours. That was absolutely atrocious. Congratulations to Lee Wood, though, on, on re- regaining his title after being knocked out by Laura, um, you know, four or five months ago, whatever it was. Um, but that's it. We're going to come back later today and do one more show. And I, I do want to touch on both uh, Nick Ball and Dan Ball before on the two cards um, in the U.K. today. And I want to get into that because they both look super good. So the two balls look good. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. It is May 27th, 2023 from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.